Yeah, this is what I have to go through. July 20th. Still no boat. Six weeks late. Here I got my 21 boat skin. My 30 Hus heaven road on it. I got all these 24 inch, 15 inch high four footers. All I can get on 12 traps at a time. I will put 30 on my boat. And it's quite a clusterfuck too, you know. They so gotta set it up to play everything out, but it's better than nothing, you know. At least I can, uh, at least I can set some. Maybe by the time the boat's here, I can get a day's gang in the water and set a couple days with the boat and haul them back, make a little something. But that's ridiculous having to wait this long. I said, I've lost over a month's income now. Nice day, hot as hell. But a lot hotter in my than it is down here. I get a nice little sea breeze. That's going with it. I don't feel it too much. But coming back, it's pretty nice, it's nice and cool. That's the salt hot pool show over there. No west half of the road to be on the boat. Where I'm going, up the high head. That's Wars Island over there. That's where I left off setting yesterday, right over there. I left off at uh, Dipper Cove Ledge at the north end of it. Sand and some eel grass, it's usually pretty good fishing. I don't know if I missed them or not. Blake one of my early spots, but sometimes they're taking a gamble, they're still in there. And uh, headed up to High Head, that little island up there that's uh, Boya's Island. And keep working my way around, going all the way up as far as I can up to the Narrows Bridge and then back down. And then all the way up into Widget Cove that goes way up in, you can't see it from here, but it goes way up inside. And uh, back down through the channel here, it's about 50 feet deep, give or take. And then over on that shore, there's a few deep holes and a few shoals up there. So, yeah, normally I'd have everything in the water by now and I've hauled around four times. Anyway, at least, so. That's what I'm up to.